Sometimes it's just so hot and humid that my hair and my overall physical presentation shouldn't really be seen on camera. But it's 2021 and I no longer care. <laughs> Hello everyone, just when I thought that I could take a quick breather for a day, go to the gym, stream later today on this Tuesday if you're watching it, um, just when I thought I could take a, a little bit of a breather, absolutely not. We have more news to cover. This news being specifically about the legendary armory coming to Guild Wars 2 July 13th. So they have a little bit of a blog post and you know how we do it over here, we're gonna read it give some of my reactions to how they seem to be implementing the system. Of course, this is all just describing it in the written word, so playing it will probably be a little bit smoother, a little bit more comprehensive, but it's wonderful having these write-ups just so we know what we're getting ourselves into. So let's get over and head on over to the blog post. So we are here on the blog post titled, The Legendary Armory Arrives July 13th. Let's jump right in. We have this lovely image of Verdrach. Verdrach, the, the legendary Warhorn. So the blog post reads, Powerful, flexible, and extremely cool. Legendary equipment is the ultimate prize for Tyria's heroes, but it could be more ultimate. Next week, the legendary armory arrives, giving you a convenient way for all your characters to share every piece of legendary equipment you've unlocked in your many adventures across Tyria. Your entire roster of impeccably dressed level 80, level 80 characters will have free and easy access to your unlocked legendary weapons, armor, back items, trinkets, runes, and sigils, without suffering the indignity of having to dig through your bank for them. The convenience is really the best thing coming out of this and just being able to put it on all the characters. Uh, but then we get into this subheader, storing your legendaries. When you log into a character on July 13th, account bound legendary equipment in your character inventories, equipment panels, and account bank will be automatically converted to your legendary armory. The legendary armory is entirely free to use and will automatically include all legendary equipment released in the future. So this is a system that they are looking towards the future, of course, and as simply as it is put and, you know, hopefully ascertain from the title of Legendary Armory, legendaries are going to be stored for all your level 80 characters to use so long as they can use them. Unbound legendaries will remain in your inventory. If your own bound copies of Sunrise or Twilight, uh, the Great Swords will be added to your Legendary Armory and you'll receive tokens to use in crafting Eternity. An Eternity, Eternity produced using tokens will be account bound. Each piece of equipment in your legendary armory is treated as a unique item, just as it would be in your inventory. If you want to customize an equipment template by equipping the legendary sword Bolt in two weapon slots, you'll need to obtain and bind two copies of Bolt, so you're not going to be able to just simply spam produce all of them, you'll still have to get multiple copies of legendaries if you want to dual wield legendaries, it seems. The maximum number of copies of an item your legendary armory can hold is determined by how many equipment slots it can occupy. This limit exists so you can have, so you don't have to worry about accidentally unlocking more copies of a specific legendary than you can equip. Since no character can ever equip more than four swords at once, your legendary armory will hold a maximum of four copies of Bolt and a maximum of four copies of the Shining Blade. An equipment template only has space for two stabs, so your legendary armory will hold a maximum of two copies of Bri Bifrost and two copies of Nevermore. Hover your cursor over your stored legendary items to see information about how many copies you have ready to equip how many you have unlocked, and how many you can, and how many more you can unlock. These numbers are also visible in the upper right corner of each item's icon. We've identified a small number of players, approximately 0.008%, who own more account-bound copies of a unique legendary item than their legendary armory can hold. We'll reach out to those players in the days following the release with information about how to resolve the issue. Sell them on the trading post. Sell them. Sell them. Equipping your legendaries. Once a legendary item is stored in your legendary armory, every level 80 character on your account can use it, provided it's available to their profession and elite specialization. You'll find your legendaries in your equipment tab, along with equipable inventory items, but they'll no longer take up space in your inventory. The equipment freeing, freeing up uh, equipment slots is just yet another added benefit of the legendary armory. I mean, when equipment templates and build templates came into the game, that already 
freed up a lot of storage space in our bags and in our bank accounts. This will just be an added layer of freeing up space. You can equip items from your legendary armory by double clicking them or clicking and dragging them onto a slot. Right clicking an equipment slot will bring up a convenient drop down menu, which you can use to equip your available legendary items. Equip a non legendary item from your inventory or regular armory. Customize your equipped legendary item or copy an equipped item and its customizations to your other equipment templates. Once you've equipped a legendary item to multiple equipment templates, you can set different at attributes, upgrade selections, and skins for each one. That is a really wonderful uh, quality of life feature. You no longer have to worry about, you know, reskinning and things looking a little weird across each template. They seem to be their own entities when they are in your equipment slot, and so you should feel free to, to skin them as you desire. So wonderful things. And then here we get this really cool screenshot of a, a congratulations uh, little menu, which shows some extra lore, a little bit of information about the legendary weapon. So uh, it's the little things. In this update, we've also polished some details to make using legendaries more fun and convenient. We have free legendary transmutation. Changing the appearance of your legendary equipment no longer requires transmutation charges. Transmutation charges are just going to be out the window. They're no longer going to be a thing in the game. I mean, we might go to a system where, you know, I mean, I guess not everyone has legendary equipment or a full set of legendary equipment and armor. So they'll still be useful in some circumstances, but this is really a huge thing. This is a huge convenience for Fashion Wars. Equipment and build templates at hand. Click the arrow above your weapon swap toggle to quickly swap to any of your equipment and build templates. This is also a wonderful change to just the overall equipment and build templates, which I assume isn't going to be beholden to Legendary Armory. So this will be lovely just to easily and quickly swap over the different builds and, and equipments. Congratulations! Finding a legendary to your account will offer a little more fanfare and some hints about your item's nature, origin, on previous owners. Or previous owners. Uh, so a little bit more lore for you lore heavy nerds. Hello, I'm right here. And then be gone, magic spheres. Thank you. Thank you so much, Arena Net. Legendary trinkets that are available with and without visual effects, like Conflux and Transcendence, will now feature a visibility toggle for their effects. I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. On Kroof, where I store all my legendaries right now, the visual bloat and the visual aspects of the legendaries are something that I like at times and other times I don't like. So this will be perfect to really fine tune which characters will have their effects and which characters you might not want them on. This is just another Fashion Wars uh, convenience, which I'm all here for. And then, of course, add to your legendary armory. This is a little touch up on any potential future legendaries you might get. If you don't already have legendary items, it's a great time to jump in and complete Living World Return achievements. You'll progress towards completing each tier of the Season of the Dragons meta achievement and earn rewards worthy of a hero. Complete four meta achievements and you get ascended weapon choices. Complete 10 meta achievements and you get a fragment of prismatic light. Complete 16 meta achievements, 32 slot inventory bag, and complete 24 meta achievements, you get a legendary amulet and returning champion title, which will be pristine. I'm currently working on them and it is Tuesday. So everyone also in conjunction with this little news outlet, we have returning Living World Season 3 Episode 2 replay. So make sure you get into Tyria jump in, get all your stuff, and get it going, because the Fragment of Prismatic Light can be redeemed in Guild Wars 2 End of Dragons for a third generation legendary precursor weapon. Will you have a well-stocked legendary armory on July 13? Don't forget to do a thorough equipment check before heading north to face the Twisted Marionette, which is also coming the same exact day. So everyone, thank you so, so much for coming along and watching me and listening to me read through the blog post. I really like it. I'm super excited for the legendary armory. This is, I mean, it, it's nothing that I can complain about because it's free. It's a huge convenience to the player base who have legendary weapons and armor stockpiled. I know I have legend, I have a full set of uh, heavy legendary armor. I have Nevermore. I got a couple legendary trinkets and accessories. And so I'm really excited to be able to place those on my other characters. This has just given me a renewed sense 
of reaching my goal of full legendaries, hopefully soon. But thank you everyone for coming. Like the video if you liked it, comment down below your thoughts about the legendary armory. Are there any particular legendaries that you still want to get? And if you'd like to support me on the Patreon, there is a link down below. Subscribe, like, share, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone!